Hey guys, it's Miss Jennifer. This week we are going to do three different art activities for corn week. All right, the first one is get a template of corn on the cob. And the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to cut this out. All right, the next thing you guys are gonna need is you guys can either use yellow and brown paint or yellow, brown, orange paint. Um, I grabbed yellow and brown and my two q-tips so what you're going to do is you're going to use the q-tips as the little kernels on the corn on the cob so the first ones i'm going to do is yellow so i'm going to make yellow dots all over the corn can you guess how many kernels are on a corn on the cob can you guess? Over 800. And every corn on the cob will have an even number. It will never be an odd number. The next color I'm going to use is brown. So my this corn is going to look more like Indian corn than a regular corn on the cob. And here we go, friends. This is the finished product of my corn. The next project we're going to do is I traced two different parts of the corn. So I have one corn on the cob and one the husk. The husk is actually what protects the corn. Okay, so we're going to cut them out now. All right, now that they're both cut out, I'm going to use my glue stick for this part. And I'm going to glue the corn on the cob inside the husk. And remember, no matter what, do not tell your students or your children the way that they should glue it on. They can glue it on however they want. So if they want to glue it half on and half off, that is totally fine. All right, the second part I'm going to do is I'm going to use regular glue and these little things right here are popcorn kernels. So I'm going to glue these on to the corn on the cob. So make sure you have enough glue on. I think I put a little too much glue on, but that's okay. And now I'm going to stick my popcorn kernels on. Okay, here's the finished product of this one. It still has to dry, so... All right, now the last project we're going to do is you need paper and a green and yellow marker, okay? So the first thing you're going to do is we're going to draw a corn on the cob. So you're going to draw the little seed. All right, and from there, you're going to draw the leaves of the corn. Okay, now guys, we're going to make horizontal lines. And horizontal lines means up and down. All right, now we're going to draw vertical lines going this way. And what does it look like? They look like little kernels. All right, from there, guys, we're going to draw. We're going to pretend like it's its little goatee. Now we're going to draw a little hat. And my friends, here are two finished products of by using a marker and using a crayon of our corn on the cob. All right, so enjoy, guys. Have a great time doing these.